Hello kittens, in this video we're going to be comparing um, Noviet's constellations to his weapons refinements. This video is mainly just for the whales, you know, if you want a whale on him, what's like the correct way to do it? So yeah, let's begin. Alright, so first of all, starting off with this signature weapon. I'm going to review this weapon later on like all of the, you know, catalyst characters and stuff like that. So if you want to check that, make sure you subscribe. But for right now, just for uh, Noviet himself, it just gives him HP, it gives him charge attacks, damage bonus, and also some energy. So that's pretty much it. Um, with refinements is just going to increase your hp charge attack damage bonus and also your energy and that's pretty much it so the damage increase in this weapon if you're getting the first refinements like if you had another weapon on him and now you're getting this weapon your damage is definitely going to increase because it's his best in slot weapon but it's going to depend if you have like the prototype amber for example which is like the completely free to play weapon you're probably going to see a good 40 percent damage increase it's a huge difference um if you have something like the battle pass weapon the sacrificial jade you might see something like a 20% damage increase or something like that maybe a little less if you have refinements but generally speaking you will see a damage increase for at least like 20% or something around that that's like when you first get this weapon so it has pretty great value also it's going to eliminate all of your energy problems which is pretty good um now for refinements on the weapon um generally speaking each refinement is going to give you around a 5% damage increase it's definitely not really much so the difference between like r1 and r5 is going to be around like 20 percent or something around that which in my opinion is not really that great especially considering the weapons banner it's pretty long to get like a weapon and the weapon you want so the refinements on this weapon are definitely not good at all in my opinion a five percent damage increase for eight refinements is definitely meh so yeah i definitely wouldn't really recommend going for the weapon refinement r1 is gonna be pretty cool you're gonna see a huge jump also a lot of consistency in the energy so i definitely recommend getting the weapon but other than that i don't think the refinements are worth it all right now moving on to his actual constellations we're gonna review them one by one and we're gonna see if they're worth it or not all right so for c1 is that when you take on the field he's gonna obtain one stack of past draconic glories from his passive talent and then also your resistance to interruption is gonna be increased when you're using your charge attacks now this extra one stack is not really a thing since you're probably already gonna have three stacks anyways with like most of his best teams and the resistance to interruption is also not really gonna matter because you're probably gonna have a shielder i'm talking in his like normal teams so what this constellation opens up really is not really an increase of damage or anything like that or any value in his like current meta teams at c0 it just gives you more options in terms of teams you can say because like it gives you one free stack so you're only going to need two different elements to reach the maximum instead of three so now you can use another hydra on your team and also it removes the interruption stuff so now you don't need a shielder so basically what they're saying is that now you can replace your shielder with another hydro if you want now to be honest i didn't really calculate all of the possibilities there are like i don't know fucking 70 characters in the game so i don't know if any of them is gonna like be a huge um damage increase in like teams wise and stuff like that if you replace sean lee with them or something like that but honestly right now i don't think so i cannot really think of any like considerable upgrade especially in like hydro characters there are not really many that will benefit him a lot probably in the future we're gonna see more characters but for right now at least i don't really see that much value for this constellation again that's for right now this is probably gonna change in the future so if you're watching this in the future make sure you check like the date right now i I don't think there are really any characters who can take like a good advantage out of this constellation so yeah c1 is generally a zero percent damage increase um you're probably just want to make sure you have all the stacks anyways and generally you're gonna have a shielder so yeah i'll say c1 is probably a pass um now for c2 it's just gonna buff your passive so usually it just gives you um charge attacks damage bonus now it's also gonna give you extra crit damage per stack so you're just gaining um charge attacks crit damage that's just some extra damage really um it's usually gonna result in around like a 11 percent damage increase by the way these are rough calculations i just did them very quickly so there might be some mistakes but this should be the you know it should be around that which is like cool you know for c2 i think that's fair so yeah i'd say it's a, it's a decent constellation um c3 is just gonna increase the level of your uh, normal tax talents by three therefore it's gonna increase the level of your charge attack which is super good it's gonna result in around a 21 percent damage increase which is very very good it's pretty simple really um i'd say it's decent for c3 i'd say it's cool too now c4 is that when you're on the field and you're healed you're just gonna gain one source water droplet and this can only occur every four seconds um it's not really that good we generally just have enough to do the charge attacks we need it's gonna technically allow you to do more charge attacks but it's not really gonna be
be optimal for the rotations but you probably don't even really want that anyways and for the number of charge attacks you'd want to do in a single rotation you already have enough droplets so i I think C4 is probably not really going to be as good. Um, I mean, the 0% damage increase, and I don't think you are going to be able to fit in any more charge attacks, to be honest. So yeah, um, I'm not really 100% sure on this one, but from what I'm seeing, I think it's probably a pass. I don't think it's a good constellation. If you see any other uses for C4, let me know in the comments. But for me, right now, I think it's it probably sucks. Now, C5 is just going to increase the level of your elemental burst by um, 3. It's not really a big part of your damage. Um, it's going to result in around like what a 1% damage increase or something like that. It's pretty much non-existent really, so it's definitely a pass if you're going for C5 alone. And finally, we have C6. Is that it's going to increase your charge attack's duration by 1 second for each droplet you absorb. And that's huge. It's also going to give you some additional damage from some currents and stuff like that, which is also pretty good. But yeah, increasing the charge attack's duration is actually pretty good obviously it's gonna allow you to do more hits which is more damage also it's gonna help you out with energy a lot since you're not gonna need to do as many charge attacks because one charge attack's duration is gonna be long enough so you're just gonna be able to get enough droplets for the charge attacks without even really using your elemental burst which is also pretty huge um it's gonna eliminate all of your energy problems not that you're gonna really care because if you haven't c6 you probably have his weapon which is gonna help you out anyways but that's also something to look at but um yeah c6 is generally gonna result in around like a 31% damage increase which is very huge it's obviously it's his best constellation it's definitely a good c6 all right, so now for the final conclusion, how should you, you know, wish? So this is the damage table for all of the constellations and the refinements. Now, honestly speaking, if I had to give any advice, I would say he doesn't really need constellations or really like heavy investments. But if you want to invest in him, I would say do it in this order. So first of all, you'd want to get his signature weapon. I'd say it's probably more important than C1, just simply because there are not really that many weapons for him at all. And it also helps you out the energy. So I'd say it's definitely worth it to get his weapon. Now, after his weapon, you just want to go for constellations as many as you want um obviously just you know know where to stop because like if you're going up to c4 alone it's not worth it obviously if you're going for c6 you're gonna pass through c4 you're gonna need that but if you're going for like c4 alone there's no point you just want to stop at c3 so it's either like c6 or stop at c3 also if you're going for c1 alone i don't really think it's worth it so for his constellations either you go for c3 or c6 those are worth it other than that i would say just don't do it and then after that if you still want to wail on him then you can go when r5 is weapon as i said before the refinements are just kind of meh it's not really that big of a deal but if you want to maximize him then it's definitely something you want to get so as i said for each refinement you're going to gain around a five percent damage boost or something around that so yeah you can just get as many refinements as you want for a reasonable um niviet i would say just get him at c0 maybe his weapon is going to help you out a lot and that's pretty much it really you know it's he doesn't really need constellation he already deals enough damage so even at c0 with a free to play weapon is gonna work if you want to make sure he's good just get his refinements one weapon and you're good in my opinion but hey if you like him c6r5 this guy but yeah that was the video guys if you enjoyed it please leave a like subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video peace